Assalamu alaikum, I welcome you all in this lecture. Today we are going to discuss about the Pakistan Bureau of Statistics recent report on Pakistan Social and Living Standards Measurement Survey. So it's a very good survey and uh, we should include it and learn it. So the objective of this survey contains eight prime spectrums. We are pretently focused on the first and foremost objective which is education. So regarding the education, the most important thing we should learn is that the Pakistan Bureau of Statistics has updated its selection criteria and the sample selection criteria was based on two terminologies. The first terminology they coined was the primary sampling unit. So what they did, they distributed or identified 200 and 250 houses in the area and then they called them as enumeration blocks or the primary sampling units. Later on, these primary sampling units are further stratified into secondary sampling units and these secondary sampling units were the means for analysis of the living standards and the patterns by how the Pakistani people are living over here in the vicinity. Then the enumeration blocks are somewhat you can say these are the district level categories they have been uh, labeled as. So in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, the urban population number of enumeration blocks as per sampling frame of 2017 were mentioned over here is 3267. Similarly, the total and this is the distribution in urban and followed by the rural area. So this is a general outlook of how the sampling uh, our investigations were made on the uh, not only on the national scale but starting from the district and then getting along to the provincial followed by the national level. Now the stratification plan was that the urban and rural parts of each administrative district was divided into four provinces. So Azad, Jammu Kashmir, Gilgit, Baltistan are considered as two separate independent stratums. So the data in this regard is uh, regarding education sector is lacking in this report. So the domain of estimation was restricted to the districts of all four, uh, these four provinces and then the socio-economic indicators such as net enrollment of rate which has been added, added for the first time. Similarly, the disability estimation at how many people are, have a disability in, among the Pakistani community was included for the first time in, by the data presented on Pakistan Bureau surveys. So the dropped areas which were excluded in this regard are include uh, are these which are being mentioned. So, so the reasons of their exclusion is uh, either that uh, they are restricted areas by the army or due to certain uh, law and order situations. So in Balochistan, unfortunately, these five districts out of the total districts, um, I think there are 36 in number. So 30. Uh, these five districts are, are four or five districts, uh, six districts in fact. Zolp and Gor, Jal, Maxi, uh, Chari and Musa, Khe are uh, being dropped. Okay, so there are five. So 31 districts have been, and the data has been uh, generated. So this is the total number of uh, data we have retrieved. So the sample design was what you can say is the two-stage stratified random sampling, the primary sampling unit generation blocks in both urban and rural areas are called primary sampling unit as I have told you earlier, 200 to 250 uh, some houses in a vicinity they are called as one block, enumeration block or primary sampling unit. Then these blocks are also further stratified for uh, estimation so the 30 number of Houses are randomly selected in this vicinity as secondary sampling unit from where a detailed survey report regarding their living standard, primary education, health and rest of the ICT utilizations were being assessed. For disability, an additional 30 houses, so a total of 60 houses were screened for the potential disabilities uh, on the number of kids, male, female, suffering from those disabilities was estimated. So let's come to the business. So our education is the prime focus in this video. So in education regard, Pakistan fifth most populous country with an estimate of 403 million population is estimated to be rising in the next upcoming uh, year of 2050. And now in this uh, Pakistan today is at any point in the history of the largest youth population with 64% of Pakistanis are now under the age of 30 years. So 
Pakistan has the youngest, largest population with 64% in the ever history. If Pakistan man manage to educate and skill this youth, we can turn the wheel in a very positive way for the uplift of our people. So the population is at 10 years. So the, according to the Education and Sustainable Development Goal Point 4, the data over here indicates that the population of 10 years and above has never has ever attended the school. So over here we notice that the population uh, for the year of 10 years and above which attended the school slightly what you can say declined at the national level from 62% to 60% at provincial level the in Punjab if you look on in the graph the Punjab level is showing 66% as compared to the last five-year data which was collected in 2014 to 15 which shows 65% number of individuals were actually ever attending the school so in Punjab there is a gradual increase uh, followed by KPK and KPK if you look at the KPK data you could see that the in the increase was not substantial but still there is a good chance from 56 to 50, um, 56 in 2019 as compared to 55 in Blochistan the data is somewhat saying that both the uh, number of individuals who have ever attended school remains the same and uh, in Sindh Unfortunately, the number of uh, students at the age of 10 years that have ever attended the school uh, is declining. This is uh, unfortunately sad to us. Now, the district-wise national level distribution of the individuals. So, uh, at uh, what you can say from the capital Islamabad prospect, the number of uh, people who have been, ever visited the school is highest in the federal capital that is 87 to 85 or 80, 85 percent roughly approximately and the top districts within the provinces are the Rawalpindi is the topest uh, district followed by Kurangi, Aptabad and Pishin so this is the national spectrum so the most uh, of the number of people who have attended ever attended the school are highest in Rawalpindi followed by Kurangi, which is based in Sindh, followed by Aptabad, which is localized in KPK, and then Pashin, the Blochistan area. Now, the bottom districts within these provinces of Pakistan include Rajanpur, belonging to Punjab, Tata, belonging to Sindh, Mohammed, and Dera Bukti and Shaheed, Sikandarabad. Now, these two last districts with 28 and 14 uh, number of individuals out of 100 have, which have ever attended the school they belong to Balochistan. Now the complete did primary education. Now how many individuals who actually ever attended the school have actually graduated from that school in terms of what you can say primary or matriculation. So there is a gradual decline. So national level population that has ever completed primary or higher shows decline from 51 percent and as compared to 52 percent in 2014 and 15. So decline in the urban area is 65 percent as compared to 68 percent so this is like an overall national picture what we are presenting over here and in rural areas it remains stagnant so the completed graduation among the rulers is quite what you can say uh, seriousness we have noticed among the ruler community so that the people who are included in this stream of education are continuously at least somehow getting and acquiring their education. So the gender scale male showed 60% while the females tendency to pass the exam is 42%. Now in Punjab the trend is opposite. So the national decline but in Punjab from 54% to 56% are now graduating from the primary education followed by KPK where the situation is improving from 43% to 44% and in Balochistan it is 35 to 36%. So depending upon the large, large geographical region and area, we can say that the data may have some fluctuations. So the margin of error in this data is 5% as mentioned in the report too. And uh, now the out of schools. Now Pakistan is ranked among the top three countries in the world that has the highest number of out of school children. Now when I look into the data on the, uh, the internet, they are saying it, it is placed in the 15%. I don't know how 
but uh, the data um, generated from Pakistan Bureau of Statistics is also mentioning this point but the category wise we are saying it is three but on uh, the international scale they are ranking it as 15th position uh, so irrespective of what position or category we belong the numbers are not good in an in and in not in any way in our favor so the out of school children are 32 percent so overall regional comparison shows that out of the school children that are higher in rural areas with 30 percent as compared to 22 percent in urban areas so the people who are living in the rural areas the trend is that if they enroll their students they are trying to complete it that's what we have observed in the previous slide from the stagnancy of the education is stable to 42 percent but if they are out of school in majority of the people unfortunately in rural areas don't send their kids to the school that's what they are telling us over here with 37 percent of the students and 37 percent of the kids are out of school as compared to 22 percent in urban areas so overall punjab has the lowest out of school children that makes it more understandable since we are close to the federal capital and the vicinity of central Punjab is and the strength of the northern Punjab is uh, presenting us a data which is promising but an overall picture at national scale is not promising at all so the province wise pattern of out of school individuals I mentioned over here so if you see just on focus on the green line you could see that the rural area graphs are showing the out of school percentage wise so in Sint, a large number of young kids are out of school followed by uh, Balochistan and then KPK and in KPK the data is somewhat but you can say relaxed on the grounds like they have a recent addition of merged areas which was fair uh, FARTA has recently been incorporated so uh, we could spare this for the time being but and we need to work on those lines as well so here is the image but over here the yellow indication of lowest intake of uh, kids at school the yellow district is called Rajanpur so this Rajanpur district is really the point of concern for us because this area is presenting a very thin margin and this is the domain in Punjab province where the, our government as well as private sector should invest more for the kids education and uplift all right then in Sindh province you could see we, we, we are unable to locate a very ma profound majority of green color and we see that out of school individuals are much higher in the central Sindh so this is higher for uh, state which was very common and known and well established state well enriched state this is the Hyderabad region Karachi has some dense population so the people percentage is higher over here but in Jamshoro, Shaheed Benazir Abad and uh, then Mirpur Khas you could see uh, roughly around more than 50% of the region in the same the number of kids are out of school so it says the yellow line says 45 to 55 which is alarming and disturbing region so the green color is pretty much over here unfortunately that is pretty surprising that the, th that the Thatta and Sojawal courts these two regions are on the coastal belt and we see that the coastal belt regions should be flourishing with the education rather than with the very denominating number of 75 kids are out of school out of 100 individuals 75 kids fail to ever visit the schools this is disturbing uh, when we look at the contrasting image of uh, Gwadar the picture is quite promising anyway about KPK uh, we hear both uh, um, the, uh, what you can say bar affected areas of north and south Uzbekistan followed by Bajo and uh, certain other areas of Mormon Agency which is on the crossroads of Afghanistan and Pakistan these are quite disturbing as compared to Kokoistan where the number of individuals which are ever visiting the school is roughly around 60 to 70 uh, kids fail to visit the school in Balochistan now in Balochistan these white areas this one this one and Jalmaksi, Zou and Musaki they are unable to be uh, the data for these areas are unable to be collected by the Pakistan Statistics Bureau 
However, the data collected from Gwadar is interesting. It, it says that the majority of the people who are out of school is relatively less. So that means that coastal lines are actually flourishing with a very good progress. So people intend to study. While Avaran, Lesbela, we have a Lesbela University uh, and, and certain other setups, the capital state of Kalat, which has a profound history, uh, is also lacking in educational background. So the number of kids out of school are roughly around 50%. These kids are unable to go. Similarly, Kila Saifullah and Dera Bukti uh, area in these areas have also a very serious condition of lack of educational progress at the primary root level. Now, if we try to understand the gross enrollment and net enrollment rate, the simplest formula is that the gross enrollment is the number of kids attending specific class divided by the number of children with the specific age and that vicinity. Okay. Now, the net enrollment rate, which is relatively newer, it says that the number of children attending with a specific age, so age is the prime factor, and you mentioned over here, attending specific class as compared to the number of children with that specific age group. So, the net enrollment rate is the new addition followed by this Pakistan Statistics of Bureau, and it is also in line with the Sustainable Development Goal, a remarkable effort by this uh, institute. So, this data also shows that the gross enrollment rate for the primary education, now the primary education is divided among the kids with the age group of 6 to 10 years. They say that the primary education uh, intensity has been reduced from 91% to 84%, now uh, followed by in Punjab from 98 to 92%. So the enrollment efficiency on gross enrollment efficiency for Pakistani young kids is reducing from 91 students who were trying to be enrolled now it has been reduced to 84 percent and uh, the top gross enrollment areas are what you can say jail Leia and Salkut where people intend to enroll the students now this is 109 ratio of GER followed by Karachi Central as we remember the green lines on Karachi Sindh area we could see uh, so remember the dense dark green color so it means that the number of intensity of individuals which are up to 25 so very less number of individuals ever drop out of school in this vicinity okay that's why the area is green okay so the uh, this is showing quite uh, similarly Aptabad and Gwadar they are also uh, quite concerned parents over here but unfortunately, the bottom districts are Rajanpur, Kashmir, Mohammed, and Shirani. So these are the areas, are the districts where the intensity of uh, gross enrollment ratio is quite, uh, what you can say, not very much ideal to us, where, what we need. Now in Pakistan, Punjab, in, uh, uh, the trend of net enrollment rate. Now the number of individual, uh, number of uh, kids with specific age. Now over here, in context to age, the enrollment date by specificity, you could see the Punjab parents are quite concerned. So there is a sustainable 70 to 70 percent NER value as compared to what you can say. Uh, then the next one is the Balochistan. So those people who are living in Balochistan and have an access to the primary education, they are also trying to uh, utilize that facility. Now the net enrollment rate at primary to level, if you look at this image, this is like what you can say a segmental view of different provinces of Pakistan. So if we see green color is our good color, okay. So the green color is representing over here in KPK section and this is the central Punjab portion and the northern Punjab which gives us an uh, false hope that we are belonging to a very um, highly educated uh, community. but. On the cross root level, the tributaries of our country like Sen, Balochistan, they are giving us a pronounced yellow and uh, what you can say red color and brown color, which we actually don't need, all right? So, here a lot of effort and energy is required both at Sen, Balochistan, in Punjab as well, followed by in, in KPK too. So, the cross border areas, North Balochistan, South Balochistan, Nomen. And this area um, requires a huge 
educational uh, impulse. So the literacy rate, the literacy rate includes all any individuals who are able to read and write. So the literacy rate of a population of 10 years old and older at national level is stagnant, 60%. And literacy rate shows declining trend in urban areas with a 74% in 2020 as compared to 76% of rural areas literacy has increased. Uh, from 52 as compared to 51. So overall picture is like reading and writing is itself quite huge challenge. Like overall males have a higher literacy rate of 70% as compared to females. Now this data is basically uh, a, uh, a combination of like roughly around 10 to 20 or more than quite an extensive performer has been used to uh, generate these questionnaires. And Roughly around 99,904 household items or questions are being generated in order to assess these objectives and education in line with education. This is the data we have in hand. So, the youth literacy is calculated from the age of 15 to 24 years, and this uh, Pakistan Social and Life uh, Measures Indicating Report PSLM district level survey indicates that the Youth literacy is 72% at national level, and this is proportional to the highest in urban 84%, followed by a rural area with 64%. And Punjab is at the top on youth literacy, while Balochistan is certainly behind its 57%. So we need to work on these lines. Now, this is a picture we should have a prime focus in. As we Concerned teacher, we should know that the child are not the children are not willing to attend the school. This is 36 percent is the reason that the kids who want never want to go to the school. So from a general prospect, it makes sense that nobody wants to go to school. But what additional things, alternate tools, we can opt and convince the young kids to be engaged in any kind of education requires not only the investment of government but a public sector stakeholders interest too so our private schools and government schools should also be uh, well equipped and nourished in these remote areas and the parents and elders do not allow it's uh, while uh, the second followed point is about the expenses now the expense ratio is 15 percent but the children not willing to go is 36 percent so this is like a vice versa situation followed by someone's excuse of working at home or working, assisting their job responsibilities or education is not useful. So these are the parameters which are made in the society. Towards the end, a gross look of this section is somewhat uh, self-explanatory to the overall pictures we have in hand. And then this is the number of trend that the people who are trying to attend and participate in the school. So overall, we have a good picture of increasing the school attendance, but we need to work and dig more in this regard, and especially into the far fetch and far flung areas so that the geographical structure and area integrity should remain the same as we expected from 47 till today. And we need to work on those lines. Now, ever attended school in 10 years and older people, if you look, the attendance is declined over here 39%. So, we need to extend this bar till higher. So, with the Pakistani bar, we should ex we expect it to be much more to 100%. Now, thank you very much for your interest, and uh, it's a good point of learning. Towards the end, I would like to thank Pakistan Bureau of Statistics for providing us such a useful information. In online and it's a very informative assessment made by them thank you thank you so much